What's up guys, uh, this is another entry in my Vita port series. Uh, this time it's Soldner X2 Final Prototype. Uh, apparently this is a European shmup that came out like five years ago. Uh, I guess I didn't really have a PS3 at that time, so I had never even heard of it, but uh, they ported it over to the Vita uh, just a couple weeks ago, and I picked it up just because it was a shmup. Uh, as you may know, uh, shmup fans are in an even rougher place than uh, character action game fans <laughs> right now. Uh, you know, Cave was the main uh, company that was, or developer that was pushing out shmups. Uh, pretty often, but now they pretty much only do mobile. <laughs> so uh, if you're itching for a shmup, uh, I think this one is pretty good. Uh, I haven't really played too much of it. Some people don't like it, but uh, I like there are some cool things about it. Uh, it's got a nice unlock system. Uh, shmups are pretty light on replay value for people who aren't uh, super hardcore, you know, who don't try to score attack and one credit clear and no miss and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things to unlock in this game. I haven't even cracked the surface, mainly because I've been busy with Token and DFO. But uh, the actual game, uh, this is a brilliant port. Uh, they managed to get it to run at 60 FPS, which is pretty crazy, uh, given how much crap is on the screen at all times. <laughs> uh, they actually posted, they said uh, they had to optimize this game for months to get it working at 60 FPS on Vita, but uh, you definitely can see the difference. Now, I am not an expert at this game. Uh, I have never played it before they put it up on uh, the PlayStation Store for the Vitas. <laughs> uh, if you want high-level gameplay, you'll have to go somewhere else, but I'll go ahead and show some footage. It's not going to be in uh, 60 FPS, but whatever. You can already tell uh, the game is beautiful. <laughs> they did an excellent job optimizing it. So I'm just going to play a little bit here. Pretty nice soundtrack too. This game has a pretty unique scoring system. Uh, basically, you connect the little, collect the little Sonic rings. They look like rings straight out of Sonic, and uh, the meter at the bottom fills up. And once it fills up, you get a power up that uh, cycles through things as the game progresses. But as you can see, silky smooth frame rate. Uh, I know it's only in 30 FPS right now, but <laughs> on the video, but it's uh, actually 60 in the game. Pretty fun, uh, horizontal Euro shmup. Uh, gets pretty bullet hellish, uh, <laughs> very fast. Uh, I'd say towards like the third level is when the difficulty starts to ramp up. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in the game, uh, I think it is like ten dollars normally, and uh, I think it's thirteen with the DLC. Uh, a lot of things to unlock in this game, which is a uh, pretty unorthodox for a shmup. Uh, you know, there have been some exceptions like uh, Tyrion, which was like twenty years ago. But uh, if you're interested in a in a shmup that's uh, not Japanese. Uh, it tries to be Japanese, but uh, you know, depending on how hardcore or picky you are, you probably notice uh, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, there's a lot to do in it, which is pretty rare for a shmup. You know, normally shmups are, you know, one of those one and done kind of playthrough games, <laughs> uh, unless you're, you know, into score attacks and stuff. Whereas here, uh, there's actual material things to unlock, like weapons, uh, more credits, uh, buffs when you start a game, stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool. Definitely a rock solid port. One of the best ones that I've seen on the Vita. In any case, uh, I don't know how many more Vita port review series I'm going to have. I've pretty much covered all the heavy hitters uh, that I actually own, and uh, my 64 gig memory card is uh, pretty much full <laughs> uh, between all the you know retail games I have, the PS Plus games they keep throwing at me, uh, all my music, and uh, whatever you know Tokusatsu series I'm watching at the same time. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little series. Uh, I know some people haven't really covered some of these ports because uh, you know they're not really main big high-profile AAA games, but uh, yeah, I'll we'll go ahead and make a playlist for all the port review series. You can go ahead and watch over them. Uh, if you like ports, <laughs> I know some people don't like ports. Uh, they don't like how many ports are on the Vita. Uh, however, there are some really, really great ports on the system, uh, you know, especially some of the ones that have, you know, cross-buy, cross-play, cross-save, stuff like that. Uh, I think it's a really great system for that. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.